Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 Lico challenge. And today we have Lico 36, valid pseudocode. So this question is really classic. So it said, determine if a nighttime night pseudocode board is valid. So only the few cell need to be validated according to the following rules. So first, each row must contain digit one to nine without repetition. Two, each column must contain the digit one to nine without repetition. Three, each of the nine three times three sub boxes of the grid must contain the digit one to nine without repetition. So like we used to play uh, pseudocode before, and this is one of the map in here. So it said for row right here, so you have one to nine, there's no duplicate in here. So one to nine, we'll all put it in this box. And in column, same thing, we have one to nine filled in this box and they all distinct, no duplicate in either row and column. And the last is in each box, we have one to nine, uh, no duplicate in here. So in that case, then we'll see this uh, current pseudocode map is valid. So for example, if five is here, and if I appear either somewhere here or somewhere in here, so if it's invalid in, in this row and invalid in this column, same thing is here. If any duplicate three in here, another three in this grid, then it's not valid. For um, the easy way to think about this question, we can have an array of set in here. For this column, array of set of the rows, then we, if we have five, we go to the first index of that array and put five into the first set. Put three in the second set. If, and we keep looping all the way to the end of this, every number in this group, the big table, if we see five in here and we go up to hit the array and the first hash set in here, if we put five again inside that hash set, that has that already have five, which the first five in here, then we return false because you can have duplicate. Same thing in here, you can see this has set in this index, in the, this index for this row. So they all correlated. And then that's one of the way that we can check. And also the box to have another has set for this box this box, this box. But overall, the code is overcomplicated and it's just a lot of work and a lot of code. It takes a lot of time to code it. It might have a lot of bugs. So that's one way, um, it's a really smart way that we discover is. So we can think about a case like, now we have, a, we only need one has set and when we look through every integer in here and we see five, for example, and five is located in uh, column zero. And we can see, uh, put C, which index is C zero. So what number is five? So we put C zero, column zero and five as a string inside that uh, hash set. And also in the same time, this is row, is row zero five. That means in the hash set, we contain all oh, row zero, only have one five. So now we have five ready. Later on, on the row to traverse this, this line, if you see, if for example seven become five, if you see duplicate five right here, and 
we will keep, we will find out it is also in row zero. And if this is five, it will have row zero five again. So we bring this inside the hash set and it's, see that has I already have, uh, I mean, row zero five, then that's not valid. So now we loop through everything, and keep putting those number inside this hash set. Uh, for the grid, and I will show you in the, in the code and how do we do the grid. So basically we use the index divided by three, then that will be um, the grid number. For example, in here is grid zero and zero, grid zero one, grid zero two, here is grid one, zero. How we come up the one, I mean, how we come up the zero is in here, the row right now is zero, one, two. So all this number divided by three, we have zero as this row zero in here. And here also, it's just a mathematic calculation. So let's take a look at the code now. Um, we will have only one set. We have a string. So now the set is done, then we have to loop through every number. Um, just the double for loop for looping all the numbers. Now this double for loop is looping number from here to here all the way to the last number in here. Let's see what we're missing. So now this is going like this this okay so we have we get the current charge called current will be, be uh, i and j so this is current uh character so if oh sorry i didn't show you um this is the input of that array so now if the input is dot, we don't need to care about it. It's just empty in here. So we only care about uh, number, which is valid for integer. So if, so we only care when the current character is not dot. So that will be an integer. And then we will if set at we have um row like what we said we put row plus i is the row and plus current which is the current uh character so now what it means is in here we have Okay, this is an example. Like in the first integer here, we have row zero five. So we have row, which is zero and five. Column zero, the first column, I mean, the first column which is indexed in zero. Column zero five. So contain all the information. So we put that this uh, string inside the set, if it doesn't have this, the set doesn't have this string, it will add it to the set. For example, if the set already had RO5, then it will return, uh, I mean, if it return false, because it's already contained, the set already contained the string. So this is one of the function for 
has set for set uh, for the add method. So you can check uh, things that have the duplicate inside the set already, then this if function will be valid. After that, we'll return false, right? But not only that, this is only the row, right? We also need to check the set. We need to add column plus J. Is J's column right now plus curve. And also we need to check set dot add. We call grid plus I divide by three plus J divided by three. Like what we mentioned about the grid. Actually, this is um like this grid, and then this number will be uh the row, and this number will be the column, and that's it. I think that will solve the case. It's kind of too long in here. F F. Okay, after this for loop, we see no problem with that. We just return true. All right, let's test out. Hmm, what's going on in here? Let me double check. Okay, I found out this few mistake right here. So we need to add this. We need to check if it's added inside already. And another mistake in here, so because we need to add the current inside this string. So we have grid current number in this column, row and column. Okay. I think that should be it. Cool. I submit it. And that's it for this question. Uh, yeah, I think it's really clever for this solution. And if you still have any question, please comment it below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.